HarperCollins Publishers LLC is one of the world's largest publishing companies and is one of the big five English language publishing companies, alongside Hachette, Macmillan, Penguin Random House, and Simon & Schuster. The company is headquartered in New York City and is a subsidiary of News Corp. The name is a combination of several publishing firm names, Harper & Row, an American publishing company acquired in 1987 whose own name was the result of an earlier merger of Harper & Brothers founded 1817 and Row, Peterson & Company, together with UK publishing company William Collins, Sons founded 1819, acquired in 1990. The worldwide CEO of HarperCollins is Brian Murray. HarperCollins has publishing groups in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, India, and China. The company publishes many different imprints, both former independent publishing houses and new imprints. History Collins. <laughs> 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 Harper Topic Mergers and acquisitions In 1989, Collins was bought by Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation, and the publisher was combined with Harper & Row, which News Corp had acquired two years earlier. In addition to the simplified and merged name, the logo for HarperCollins was derived from the Torch logo for Harper & Row, and the Fountain logo for Collins, which were combined into a stylized set of flames atop waves. In 1999, News Corporation purchased the Hearst Book Group, consisting of William Morrow and Company and Avon Books. These imprints are now published under the rubric of HarperCollins. HarperCollins bought educational publisher Letts and Lonsdale in March 2010. In 2011, HarperCollins announced they had agreed to acquire the publisher Thomas Nelson. The purchase was completed on July 11, 2012, with an announcement that Thomas Nelson would operate independently given the position it has in Christian book publishing. Both Thomas Nelson and Zondervan were then organized as imprints, or Keystone Publishing Programs, under a new division, HarperCollins Christian Publishing. Key roles in the reorganization were awarded to former Thomas Nelson executives. In 2012, HarperCollins acquired part of the trade operations of John Wiley and Son in Canada. In 2014, HarperCollins acquired Canadian romance publisher Harlequin Enterprises for C $455 million. In 2018, HarperCollins acquired the business publisher Amacom from the American Management Association. Management history Brian Murray, the current CEO of HarperCollins, succeeded Jane Friedman who was CEO from 1997 to 2008. Notable management figures include Lisa Sharkey, current Senior Vice President and Director of Creative Development and Barry Winkleman from 1989 to 1994. United States v. Apple Inc. In April 2012, the United States Department of Justice filed United States v. Apple Inc., naming Apple, HarperCollins, and four other major publishers as defendants. The suit alleged that they conspired to fix prices for ebooks and weaken Amazon.com's position in the market in violation of antitrust law. In December 2013, a federal judge approved a settlement of the antitrust claims, in which HarperCollins and the other publishers paid into a fund that provided credits to customers who had overpaid for books due to the price fixing. Topic: <laughs> U.S. warehouse closings. It was announced to employees privately and then later in the day on November 5, 2012, that HarperCollins was closing its remaining two U.S. warehouses, in order to merge shipping and warehousing operations with R. R. Donnelly in Indiana. The Scranton, Pennsylvania warehouse closed in September 2013 and a Nashville, Tennessee warehouse, under the name DBA Thomas Nelson which distributes the religious arm of HarperCollins, Zondervan Books, in the winter of 2013. 
Several office positions and departments continued to work for HarperCollins in Scranton, but in a new location, the Scranton warehouse closing eliminated approximately 200 jobs, and the Nashville warehouse closing eliminated up to 500 jobs. Exact number of distribution employees is unknown. HarperCollins previously closed two U.S. warehouses, one in Williamsport, PA, in 2011, and another in Grand Rapids, Michigan, in 2012. We have taken a long-term, global view of our print distribution and are committed to offering the broadest possible reach for our authors," said HarperCollins Chief Executive Brian Murray, according to Publishers Weekly. We are retooling the traditional distribution model to ensure we can competitively offer the entire HarperCollins catalog to customers regardless of location. Company officials attribute the closings and mergers to the rapidly growing demand for e-book formats and the decline in print purchasing. Topic Notable books HarperCollins maintains the backlist of many of the books originally published by their many merged imprints, in addition to having picked up new authors since the merger. Authors published originally by Harper include Mark Twain, The Bronte Sisters and William Makepeace Thackeray. Authors published originally by Collins include H. G. Wells and Agatha Christie. HarperCollins also acquired the publishing rights to J. R. R. Tolkien's work in 1990 when Unwin Hyman was bought. This is a list of some of the more noted books, and series, published by HarperCollins and their various imprints and merged publishing houses. The Hobbit, J. R. R. Tolkien 1937, originally published by George Allen and Unwin, The Lord of the Rings, J. R. R. Tolkien 1954-55, originally published by George Allen and Unwin, The Art of Loving, Eric Fromm 1956, Master and Commander, Patrick O'Brien 1970, adapted into the 2003 film Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, The Leaphorn and Chi Books, Tony Hilleman 1970-2006. The Silmarillion, J. R. R. Tolkien, ed. Christopher Tolkien with Guy Gavriel K. 1977, originally published by George Allen and Unwin, Collins English Dictionary, 1979, a major dictionary sharp series, Bernard Cornwell, 1981 2006, Frida, a biography of Frida Kahlo, Hayden Herrera, 1983, adapted into the 2002 film Frida the History of Middle Earth series, J. R. R. Tolkien, ed. Christopher Tolkien 1983 to 1996 Weaveworld Clive Barker 1987 The Paladin Poetry Series 1987 to 1993 Of Gravity and Angels Jane Hirschfield 1988 The Alchemist Paulo Coelho 1988 First published in Portuguese as O Alchemista 1988 Subsequent novels in the Take Back Plenty series Colin Greenland 1990 plus Where There's a Will Who Inherited What and Why Stephen M Silverman 1990 the Language of the Genes, Steve Jones, 1993. The Gifts of the Body, Rebecca Brown, 1994. Microsurfs, Douglas Copeland, 1995. Thoughts, Tion Watkins, 1999. Shuka Saptati, Seventy Tales of the Parrot, a new translation from the Sanskrit by A. N. D. Haxa, 2000. First They Killed My Father, A Daughter of Cambodia Remembers, Long Ung, 2000. Bel Canto, Anne Patchett, 2001. A Theory of Relativity, Jacqueline Mitchard, 2001. Recent volumes in the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett, Books from 2001 to Present, American God. Odds, Neil Gaiman, 2001, Boonville, Robert Mailer Anderson, 2003 reprint. Quicksilver, Neil Stevenson, 2003, Don Quixote, a new translation by Edith Grossman, 2003, Echo, Acquainted with the Night, Christopher Judney, 2004, State of Fear, by Michael Crichton, 2004, Dark House, Alex Barkley, 2005, and Nancy Boys, Neil Gaiman, 2005, The Hot Kid, Elmore Leonard, 2005, Freaky Green Eyes, by Joyce Carol Oates, 2006, Next, Michael Crichton, 2006. 6, Domicilium Decoratus, Kelly Wiersler, 2006, ISBN 0 06 089798 Pretty Little Liars, Sara Shepard, 2006, Mr. Be Gone, Clive Barker, Harper. 2007 Loving Natalie, A Mother's Testament of Hope and Faith, Beth Holloway 2007 About Natalie Holloway, The Raw Shark Texts, Stephen Hall, 2007 The Children of Huron, J. R. R. Tolkien, ed. Christopher Tolkien 2007 The Family The Secret Fundamentalism at the Heart of American Power Jeff Charlotte 2008 Going Rogue An American Life Sarah Palin 2009 
Solo, Rana Dasgupta, 2009. Pirate Latitudes, Michael Crichton, 2009, posthumous publication. Wolf Hall, Hilary Mantle, 2009. Shattered, The True Story of a Mother's Love, a Husband's Betrayal, and a Cold-Blooded Texas Murder, Catherine Casey, 2010 Micro, Michael Crichton, 2011, posthumous publication. The Dressmaker of Care Karna, Gail Zemek Lemon, 2011 A Shot at History, My Obsessive Journey to Olympic Gold by Abhinav Bindra, 2011 Go Set a Watchman, Harper Lee, 2015 Beren and Luthien, J. R. R. Tolkien, ed. Christopher Tolkien, 2017. The Fall of Gondolin, J. R. R. Tolkien, ed. Christopher Tolkien, 2018. Topic: <laughs> Harper Children's Books. Children's book editor Ursula Nordstrom was the director of Harper's Department of Books for Boys and Girls from 1940 to 1973, overseeing the publication of classics such as Goodnight Moon, Where the Wild Things Are, The Giving Tree, Charlotte's Web, Beverly Cleary's series starring Ramona Quimby, and Harold and the Purple Crayon. They were the publishing home of Morris Sendak, Shel Silverstein, and Margaret Wise Brown. In 1998, Nordstrom's personal correspondence was published as Dear Genius, The Letters of Ursula Nordstrom illustrated by Morris Sendak, edited by Charlotte Zolotov. Zolotov began her career as a stenographer to Nordstrom, became her protégé, and went on to write more than 80 books and edit hundreds of others, including Nordstrom's The Secret Language and the works of Paul Fleischmann. Zolotov later became head of the children's books department, and went on to become the company's first female vice president. The Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis, while not originally published by a merged imprint of HarperCollins, were acquired by the publisher. HarperCollins has published the following notable children's books The I Can Read, series for beginning readers, including the Amelia Bedelia, Peggy Parrish, Frog and Toad, Arnold Lobel, and Little Bear, Else Homeland Minerick and Morris Sendak books. The Warriors series. The Pretty Little Liars series, by Sarah Shepard, 2007 present. A series of unfortunate events, Lemony Snicket. A Taste of Blackberries, Doris Buchanan Smith, 1973. Skullduggery Pleasant series, Derek Landy. Bart Simpson's Guide to Life, 1993. International rights to Dr. Seuss, inherited from Collins, 1950s present. Love That Dog, Sharon Creech, 2001. The Giving Tree, Shel Silverstein, 1964. Where the Sidewalk Ends, Book, Shel Silverstein, 1974. The Saga of Darren Shan, Darren Shan, 2000 to 2004. Cirque du Freak manga series, Darren Shan and Takahiro Arai, 2006 to 2009. The Dangerous Book for Boys, Con and Hal Igledon, 2006. Sabriel, Garth Nix, 1995. A Barrel of Laughs, A Veil of Tears, Jules Pfeiffer, 1995. Mr. God, This Is Anna, Finn, pseudonym of Sidney Hopkins, 1974. The Little House on the Prairie series, Laura Ingalls Wilder, 1932 to 2006. The Wolves in the Walls, Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean, 2003. Monster, Walter Dean Myers, 1999. Coraline, Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean, 2002. Surviving the Applewhites, Stephanie S. Tolan, 2002. The Gollywhopper Games, 2008. Ruby Redfoot series, Lauren Child, 2011. Divergent, Veronica Roth, 2011. The School for Good and Evil, Soman Chainani, 2013 present. Splat the Cat, Rob Scotton, 2007 present. Little Penguin, Teague Bentley, 2015 present. Topic: <laughs> Imprints. HarperCollins has more than 120 book imprints, most of which are based in the United States. Collins still exists as an imprint, chiefly for wildlife and natural history books, field guides, as well as for English and bilingual dictionaries based on the Bank of English, a large corpus of contemporary English texts.
On February 8, 2013, it was announced that some parts of the Collins non-fiction imprint would be merged with the HarperPress imprint to form the new William Collins imprint. HarperCollins imprints, current and defunct, including imprints that existed prior to various mergers, include Topic: <laughs> Current Topic: <laughs> Adult Topic: <laughs> 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 Children HarperCollins Children's Books Harper Festival Harpertine Harpertine Impulse Digital Imprint Harper Trophy Amistad Balza Plus Bray Collins Greenwillow Books Catherine Teagan Books Walden Pond Press Topic Christian Thomas Nelson Grupo Nelson Nelson Books Tommy Nelson W Publishing Group Westbo Press Zondervan Blink Editorial Vida Zondekids Topic Audio Harper Audio Cadman Audiobooks HarperCollins Children's Audio Topic Bureau HarperCollins Speakers Bureau Topic Digital HarperCollins Ebooks Topic Defunct Topic Business Strategy Topic Web Approach In order to boost book sales and reach the online market, HarperCollins has created a browsing feature on its website, whereby customers can read selected excerpts from books before purchasing. There are some concerns among publishers with this approach because they feel that the online books could be exploited by file sharing. In addition, excerpts of books are also available to mobile phone users. HarperCollins were first to market with an innovative approach to slush pillay management with the introduction of the Orthonomy website. From 2009 to 2010, they operated Bukami, a social networking site. At the beginning of October 2013, the company announced a partnership with online digital library Scribd. The official statement revealed that the majority of the HarperCollins US and HarperCollins Christian catalogs will be available in Scribd subscription service. Chantal Restivo Alessi, chief digital officer at HarperCollins, explained to the media that the deal represents the first time that the publisher has released such a large portion of its catalog. Topic: <laughs> Speakers Bureau. The HarperCollins Speakers Bureau, also known as HCSB, is the first lecture agency to be created by a major publishing house. It was launched in May 2005 as a division of HarperCollins to book paid speaking engagements for the authors HarperCollins, and its sister companies, Publish. Andrea Rosen is the director. Some of the notable authors the HCSB represents include Carol Alt, Dennis Lehane, Gregory Maguire, Danny Mayer, Mehmet Oz, Sidney Poitier, Ted Sorensen, and Kate White. Harper Academic Harper Academic is the academic marketing department of HarperCollins. Harper Academic provides instructors with the latest in adult titles for course adoption at the high school and college level, as well as titles for first year and other common read programs at academic institutions. They also attend several major academic conferences to showcase new titles for academic professionals. Harper Academic Calling, a podcast produced by the department, provides interviews with authors of noteworthy titles.
Topic: Harper Studio. HarperCollins announced Harper Studio in 2008 as a new experimental unit that will eliminate the traditional profit distributions to authors. The long-established author advances and bookseller returns has not proved to be very profitable to either the author or the publisher. The approach Harper Studio is now taking is to offer little or no advance, but instead to split the profit 50% rather than the industry standard 15% with the author. The division was headed by Bob Miller, previously the founding publisher of Hyperion, the adult books division of the Walt Disney Company. Harper Studio folded in March 2010 after Miller left for Workman Publishing. Topic: <laughs> HarperCollins India. HarperCollins Publishers India Private Limited is a wholly owned subsidiary of HarperCollins Worldwide. It came into being in 1992. Topic: Controversies. Topic: If I did it. If I did it was a book written by O.J. Simpson about his alleged murder of Nicole Simpson, which was planned as a HarperCollins title, and which attracted considerable controversy and a legal battle over publication. Ben Collins In August 2010, the company became embroiled in a legal battle with the BBC after a book it was due to publish, later identified as the forthcoming autobiography of racing driver Ben Collins, revealed the identity of the Stig from Top Gear. In his blog, Top Gear executive producer Andy Willman accused HarperCollins of hoping to cash in on the BBC's intellectual property, describing the publishers as a bunch of chances. On September 1 the BBC's request for an injunction preventing the book from being published was turned down, effectively confirming the book's revelation that the Stig was indeed Collins. <laughs> East and West The company became embroiled in controversy in 1998 after it was revealed it blocked Chris Patton's The Last British Governor of Hong Kong book East and West after a direct intervention by the then CEO of News International, Rupert Murdoch. It was later revealed by Stuart Prophet, the editor who had worked on the book for HarperCollins, that this intervention was designed to appease the Chinese authorities of whom the book was critical as Murdoch intended to extend his business empire into China and did not wish to cause problems there by allowing the book to be published. Murdoch's intervention caused both Prophet's resignation from the company and outrage from international media outside of News International. Chris Patton later published with Macmillan Publishing, initially in America, where it carried the logo, the book that Rupert Murdoch refused to publish. After a successful legal campaign against HarperCollins, Patton went on to publish the book in the UK in September 1998 after accepting a sum of £500,000 and receiving an apology from Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> e -books. In March 2011, HarperCollins announced it would distribute ebooks to libraries with DRM enabled to delete the item after being lent 26 times. HarperCollins has drawn criticism of this plan, in particular its likening ebooks, which are purely digital, to traditional paperback trade books, which wear over time. Topic: <laughs> Emission of Israel from an Atlas. In December 2014, the tablet reported that an atlas published for Middle East schools did not label Israel on a map of the Middle East. A representative for Collins Bartholomew, a subsidiary of HarperCollins that specializes in maps, explained that including Israel would have been unacceptable to their customers in the Arab states of the Persian Gulf and the omission was in line with local preferences. The company later apologized and destroyed all the books. Topic. What the bleep just happened 
HarperCollins announced in January 2017 that they would discontinue selling copies of Monica Crowley's book What the Bleep Just Happened, due to allegations of plagiarism. The 2012 book had lifted passages from a number of sources including columns, news articles and think tank reports. HarperCollins said in a statement to CNN's K-File, the book which has reached the end of its natural sales cycle, will not longer be offered for purchase until such time as the author has the opportunity to source and revise the material. Topic see also COBUILD, a research facility set up by Collins in conjunction with the University of Birmingham Harper's Magazine, a separately owned magazine, although begun by the original Harper and Brothers list of largest UK book publishers The Lord of the Rings. HarperCollins is the current non-US publisher of the Tolkien series books in the United States.